Hello guys, welcome back. As we did on our last tutorial, tutorial number three, we were converting a decimal number which actually has a comma back to a binary, and our answer was a one zero zero one comma zero one. And the decimal number that we were converting is seventeen comma twenty five. If you did not see that tutorial, you can refer back to the tutorial number three. You will find it. So today I'm actually going to take the answer that we got from our last tutorial and try to convert it back to the problem that we had to prove that actually our answer was correct then the first thing that i told you to do when you're approaching this kind of a question you must first of all start by giving your bytes and exponents and i told you from the comma going to the other side you're going to give them minuses and then from the left hand side going to the last byte that you have you're gonna give them positive exponents then from this one like i said from the left we're gonna start by giving it a zero the first one the second one is gonna be a one the another zero is gonna be two this one is gonna be three the last one is gonna be four then from the comma we're gonna give them minus one minus two that's actually how it works if you had more bytes it's gonna be exponent five six seven eight if also after the comma we had more exponent this can it's going to, it was going to be minus one minus two minus three going there so right now the first thing that you must do you must choose which side do you want to start with so for your safety i would prefer you to start with this left hand side and do it separately then you're gonna do the left side so we're gonna start by this one which is going to be one zero 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 one this is zero one two three four then when we are converting this to a binary as we did on our first tutorial it's going to be one multiplied by two zero if you don't understand how i got this this one is actually this one and then the two is that the rule is you must multiply each byte by two then the zero actually came from the exponent that is on the top the next one we add is going to be 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 3 plus 1 multiplied by 2 exponent 4 which is the last one. Then after that, the second step, we deal with the exponents before we can multiply. This one... 1 multiplied by the answer for 2 exponent 0 is going to be 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 1 the answer is 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 2 the answer is 4 plus 0 multiplied by 2 exponent 3 the answer is 8 plus 1 multiplied by 2 exponent 4 the answer is 16 it's a question we're gonna start now we can multiply 1 multiplied by 1 the answer is 1 plus 0 times 0 0 times 2 the answer is 0 0 times 4 the answer is 0 0 times 8 the answer is 0 then 1 multiplied by 16 the answer is 16 therefore the answer is 17 don't forget that this 17 is only for the first part of our question, which is 10001. So right now, we're going to try to attempt to solve this side after the comma, which is 0, 1. Then I told you, as we, you saw that how we did it, we gave it minus 1 and minus 2. You must never forget these exponents because they're really important. So we're going to give it the exact exponent that we gave it according to the rule that I just told you. So we're going to say 0 multiply by 2 minus 1 just as we did for the first one plus 1 multiply by 2 exponent 2 which is the one is this one the 2 is this one and then don't forget that your exponents are actually minuses so right now when you solve this one it's going to be 0 multiply by 2 exponent minus 1 the answer we just have to come and then write it up there so in order for you to never actually forget how these things work you must remember that when we started i told you to do them separately so right now we got the answer only for 17 which is was for 1001 now right now we're trying to attempt the last one which is 01 
So two exponent minus one, the answer is zero comma five plus one multiply by two exponent minus two, the answer is zero comma twenty five. Then right now we can deal with the multiplication. The first one, zero comma multiply by zero multiply by zero comma five. The answer is zero plus one multiply by zero comma twenty five. The answer is zero comma twenty five. When we add the two, the answer is zero comma twenty five. Right now I want you to pay specific attention. We're gonna take this answer that we got, plus and we're gonna add it with this number that we got for the last part, which the comma. So right now I'm gonna copy. The 17 that I got for the first part is gonna be 17 comma. Don't forget 17 was only for 10001. Then right now I'm gonna add it with the 25, which is 25. If you don't understand how I did it, I can show it separately. 17, then the other part is 0, 0,25. When you say 0 and 0. 0 and 17 equals to 17. Then, actually, what this 17 can actually mean in other words, it could be a 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 0 plus 17 and 17, 25 plus the zeros after the comma is 25. Base 10 to show that actually is a decimal. So, our final answer when you have to write it, it must be 1000, 1, is equals to 17,25 base 10 to show that actually it's a decimal. So right now, as you can see, I've converted back the way that we just got it before. So it actually shows that the answer that we got on the last tutorial was actually correct because I got 17,25 base 10 from 1001,0,0,0,1,0 and the last tutorial I converted this and the answer was this kind, this type of, of binary. So our answers are actually correct. If you have any problem that you like me to solve in this tutorial,